Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. Welcome, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, I'm Quenby and I'm a part-time reseller. I've been selling on eBay for 10 years and a few years on Poshmark. I also sell some digital downloads on Etsy, my reselling tracker and tools. So you can find descriptions. No. You can find links in the description section of this video to all my favorite tools and to my store and closet. In case you fall in love with something in this haul, just message me. I do sell to friends on the channel directly all the time. It's no big deal. So let me fix my bangs real quick because I can tell they're weird. You know how you just feel them sitting weird? It's like if they're sitting weird, it's going to look weird in the video. If you're new here, please do know that as a special bonus for making it all the way through the video, I put my bloopers at the end and it's pretty funny. We laugh at me as I try to make YouTube videos. So I recently did a poll here on YouTube and I asked friends and viewers, what content are you most looking for on the channel? And hands down, it was thread up rescue box unboxing videos and thrift hauls. So today I have a thrift haul for you. It's a really fun one. Um, I live here in Northern California. Thrift stores are amazing. Thrift stores are awesome. I'm near San Francisco, but they're more expensive than many of my friends around the country. This is my around the country, all inclusive hands. <laughs> Anyway, and I'm a boho girl, so I tend to pick up as much boho stuff with crochet, lace, embroidery, linen. I do a lot of that stuff. It sells great for me on eBay, and so I pick it up. Now, um, I went to a church thrift store that saves me some money because the Goodwill here is expensive, and this is a couple dollars less. So prices on these were dresses were $5. Um, sleeveless tops are like three and long sleeve tops are four. So not super cheap, but cheaper than my Goodwill for sure. Let's get into the haul, baby. This is one of my best selling brands. It's Chico's. It's a mature women's brand and they do vanity sizing. So this says three. Really camera? Are you going to focus? There's like a little box that tells it to focus and I'm putting the tag in. This is a new fancy camera. And to be honest, I really don't know how to use it. <laughs> I just like the way I my personality is I kind of jump right in and learn as I go some people are more cautious and they learn everything on the front end no I got the camera and I'm like I'm upgrading I have no idea how to use it I'm gonna learn as I go and then I just learned how to press record and stop and that's about it <laughs> this is the Canon M50 it's a camera that a lot of youtubers love and it's linked in the description if you are interested in upgrading three is an XL this has everything going for it in terms of selling on eBay online because it's an XL, it's white and it's linen, and then it's got like crochet embroidery around the neckline there. So that's like an easy $20, $25 for me. This piece, I don't know the brand, but I don't care because I can use my favorite keyword. My favorite keyword is lag and look, L-A-G-E-N-L-O-O-K. And it stands for layering look, comes out of Europe. I have a whole video on it with pictures and everything. But it's a lot of like wide leg linen, linen pants, flowy skirts, tunics, boxy pieces, layering, like the coolest art teacher you've ever seen. If I can put lag and look in a title, it's going to sell for more. And check out this piece. It's so cute. It's a chambray denim, lightweight, but it's so boxy. And then look at the trim. It's got like a polka dot and a plaid and a random like, oh, I guess it's a pocket square. This is so lag and look. The brand is Susan Eastman. It looks like an interesting tag. But friends, this is not like, I've been reselling 10 years. I don't stop and look absolutely everything up. I know some people do. And I did the first few years when I was like learning the best brands and styles that sell. I'm at a point now where I don't have to look everything up. Even if Susan Eastman is not a popular brand, I can use keywords. Keywords are so important. They're the words that you put in your title and your description on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Depop, Facebook Marketplace. Like the keywords are what help customers find your item. So I talk a lot about keywords when I do my hauls. So for this, I would put Susan Eastman, women's top, size large, lag and look, boxy layering, um, and then I would put chambray denim, boho, bohemian, and this will sell. And I price that stuff high because it's more like unique items. This is like a mystery haul for me because I bought this a few weeks ago and it sat in the garage until I could wait and do a video for you guys. <laughs> 
I started out with like a minute of bloopers at the end and now the bloopers are like five minutes and the video's 10. <laughs> this is my best selling brand, J. Jill. Not everything J. Jill though. This is Love Linen. I pick up anything that says Love Linen. I pick up Pure Jill and I pick up J. Jill the Wherever Collection. I pick up J. Jill the Wherever Collection. So and also larger sizes. This is a women's linen top. Just really pretty colors. I love these linen tops. I love them. They're comfortable. They're classy. I can probably get 20 bucks for that. Now this dress I fell in love with and it's in really bad shape. So I need to work on it. So I went up to the register and I'm like, I'm in love with this dress, but it's got stains on the front. I don't know if it'll come out. So she gave me half off. Um, this brand is Elsie. I don't know exactly what this brand is. Let me know in the comments if you do, but I bought this for style. It's heavily embroidered, um, all on the straps there. It has, this is actually a flounce. So when there's like a, a flounce or fabric piece on the top, and then um, it has all this heavy embroidery on the trim. As you know, I am super into heavy embroidery, crochet lace, I just love it all. But this has a little bit of wash wear and then some stains, and I don't know if it's just a little food or if it's gonna come out. It's also a size large, so I figure it's worth a try. What are your best stain treating treatment strategies? Pop them in the comments. And while you're down there in the comments, leaving me a comment, like I know you will because I respond to every single comment left for me on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and you like the video as well. Thank you. This is my other channel finally reached 1K. I shouldn't say finally because it's happened much more easily on my therapy mental health channel, which is The Grateful Therapist. I only have like 10 or 12 videos on there. I think that the mental health stuff is, people, is stuff people are really craving right now, especially 2020, 2021 COVID year, I don't know. Um, but I will put more videos on that channel now that it's picked up some steam. Um, but check that channel out, I'd love to talk to you over there. Again, I bought this for style, this is so boho log and look. Um, so see how it's like gathered? So I would put, I don't even know this brand, it is, I don't even know what that says, Yaza. Y-A-Z-A, -A, but I don't care. And it's a size small. Again, I bought this for boho lag and look style. It's elastic waist. Um, and then it's got weird pockets. And then it's just all gathered and ruched. So I would put Yaza women's skirt size small. Chartreuse, this mustard split pea, is really popular color with artsy ladies. So I'll put chartreuse and then I'll put gathered, ruched, um, I think this is sometimes called like a balloon skirt. So I'll use all those keywords and get that baby sold. I think skirts were five bucks too. I have a bolo skirt in here. I'll save it as the last item. So if you want a bolo, that sells really well on Poshmark and eBay and sells well online. Stay till the end. Okay, this is another thing I bought for style, but I liked the tag, jewels. And then I liked that the tag has, why does my camera take a minute to focus? J-O-U-L-E-S. I liked that the tag also had Euro sizing. That's sometimes a good size. Again, heavily embroidered neckline, lightweight denim. This is just a classic tunic shift dress with lots of embroidery details. I will not fit in this dress. It's a US size six. It looks brand new. Um, so that's gonna do well. Now this has got a little story to it. Story time. <laughs> I must flip through hundreds of shirts and maybe I find one or two. You know, that's just the life of a thrifter. Well, I saw this and I was like, that's amazing. Look at this. It's all netted and the netting has got heavy bead work on it. It's got, you know, my favorite thing, a bell sleeve um, and it has a peplum hem. So this is extraordinary, but there's no tags. It's like, ugh, there's no tag in the neckline. You know, I could try and list this one with keywords. Um, but so then I started looking around. This is a tip. Don't give up if you feel quality or something unique. Check it out. I looked all over and I saw this tag, which will look familiar to those of you who know about anthropology. Anthropology is an extremely expensive 
store. And so it does say made for anthropology. It does not have the name brand. So I'll do a little like keyword searching, but if I can't find it, I'll just put anthropology as the brand. I'll take pictures of the tag and I'll disclose no name brand tag made for anthropology. This is such a special piece, like absolutely stunning. I had to pick this up. I know it's out of season. I'm filming this in May 2021. We're getting ready for summer, but you don't pass up Eileen for four bucks. Eileen Fisher, this is a size small, not the best. I would love it more if it was a size large. It's just a light purple cardigan, merino wool, uh, which is a very thin and fine wool. I'm hoping I didn't bring home anything that has little tiny holes in it, merino wool gets little tiny holes easily, but that's a good one. If you're enjoying this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's free, it's easy to do. It tells YouTube, this is content we like. We like thrift hauls, so it helps. This is Chico's, size one, and I absolutely love this piece. Total layering piece. Size one is about a medium. I will put measurements in too, but look at this baby. It's a super long linen tunic. So it's, op oh, it does have buttons, so you could button it up, or I was thinking just open front. It's got high slits up the side. This just says to me, like, spring, summer, like, gorgeous layering piece. It's lined. That's interesting. So maybe it's a dress. Maybe it is a dress. I thought it was more of a top, but it's lined um, half the way. So I might even try that on. I just love linen in the summer. I bought this because so many of you talk about the brand White House Black Market. It's like just not something that's on my radar. Like I never, I know it's an expensive store and I now know that it sells really well for people. There's a size extra small, but I just wasn't like a brand that was on my radar, radi 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 really, really stuttering. It was not a brand on my radar, like look out for this, but I've seen so many what sold videos and so many people talk about this brand. And I was like, well, now I found a piece from the brand that I love. Look at this. It's a gorgeous dress, like kind of a light chiffon and then a huge romantic bell sleeve with some ruffles, you know, ruffle around the neck. Just a gorgeous piece. And you guys know I'm a sucker for a sleeve. And sleeves in 2021 are so hot. They're just like, you know, everything sleeve, embellished sleeve, bell sleeve, ruffle sleeve. Okay, two more pieces. I'm saving one of the best for last. Now, this is my personal favorite piece. I was hoping it would be for me, but I just can't pull it off, you guys. Um, the brand is Drew, which I, I think it might be like a division of Madewell or something. It's a sister company to somebody. It's pretty trendy, and this piece is no exception. This is a jumpsuit, baby, but it's a linen jumpsuit. It has a wrap front. Well, I'm sorry, it has a regular, wrap, a regular front and a wrap back. It's got a drawstring waist, and it goes down to a jogger. So, like, so many cool style things on this. I just thought this would be so cool to wear in the summer. It's a whole outfit. This stripy linen stuff was really popular last year, and I'm seeing it a lot this year, too. Just a stripy linen jumpsuit. I was hoping I could wear it, but I put it on, and I'm like, no, like, I'm just not a jumpsuit person. Let me know in the comments, are you a jumpsuit person or not? I do like rompers if they look like a dress, and I love the idea of a jumpsuit. I love seeing other women in jumpsuit. I've just never found one that works for me. Okay. Okay, this I found at the end, and you'll notice I did find a couple skirts. I don't like going through the skirt section, do you? It's like, for some reason, skirts just don't sell that well for me, but they do if they're a great brand or a great style. This is everything for 2021. This is total cottage core vibes, boho vibes. Look at this. This is what I'm seeing everywhere for summer 2021. It's like a long peasant skirt with different fabrics. And see, these tiny little flowers are very cottage for core aesthetic. And it's got some like crochet details. And this is a bolo, it's sold at Anthropology. The brand is Rana Gill, size small. So I don't pick up very much Anthropology anymore. I just, it was a brand in the past that it was so hot, it sold so well. And that's not my experience of it anymore. Now I have to pick it up for style too. Like, 
not just the brand. So this piece, if you look at like style guides for summer 2021, everyone's wearing long skirts like this. Skirts with tiers or dresses like this, like a whole piece like this. Very romantic, very bohemian, very on point style wise. So what do you think of my California haul? What was your favorite piece? Thanks for staying with me. I'll see you soon, maybe on Friday night. I go live every Friday at five and it's super fun. So I'd love to see you in the chat there. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. See you next time guys. Love ya. Bye. Honestly, the bloopers on my videos now, they started out like one minute of bloopers and now the bloopers. Okay. Oh my gosh. No. What the heck? That is like zoomed in. I've never done that before. <laughs> That'd be scary. Okay, let's get this party started. I don't know why I wait to film until like three or four o'clock in the afternoon when it's super hot in my office. My office is like almost like an attic room upstairs above the garage and it's hot, but that's neither here nor there. Get a little drinky poo and get this party started. Water is needed. It's like hot. It's hot in here and it's like, I'm tired. But I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Oh my God, bad. Oh God, let me just deal. You're not supposed to burp. I just had bubbly water.